What's up you guys? This is Coman. As you know, I'm still pretty new to doing this whole webcam thing, so if I sound kind of weird, because I'm just, I'm really trying to practice and get better at the webcam, because the more I do it, the better I will be. Anyway, I just want to fill you guys in on some news. They actually had a Ruby Wilt Chamberlain My Team Challenge that just came out today. And I'm going to show you real quick how to get to it. If you see me looking in this direction, it's because my Xbox is over here and my computer is right here. They're not by each other. Anyway, I don't know, you probably don't care about that anyway. Anyway, so what you're going to do, you're actually going to go over here to single player, go down to challenges, moments challenges. As you can see right here, we got this Ruby Wilt Chamberlain reward. Click on it. You can notice three minute quarter lengths. So the game's not too long, probably take about 20 minutes or so. Let's see, on this day in NBA history, Wilt Chamberlain of the Philadelphia Warriors began a streak of seven consecutive games in which he scored 50 points or more. Tonight, it's your job to get 50 points as a team in a short game against Philadelphia. If you win, you receive a Ruby Wilt Chamberlain. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this and then I'm gonna show you the reward right after. All right, you guys, we're back. And as you can see, I ended up scoring uh, mostly with JR. I, I did use Baron Davis to start the game, and I switched over to JR and Kiki. Basically, just really good three point shooters. And I took a ton of threes. The difficulty is not that hard, so you're going to make a lot of threes easily. Like I said, the difficulty is not that hard, so you can throw cheesy alley oops. You can shoot threes you probably wouldn't normally shoot, and they'll just go in. And the team you're playing is not very good. They miss a lot of shots. Another recommendation I do have is I like to full court press and because that kind of speeds up the computer's pace. The computer's not sitting there dribbling forever trying to call play. So try that, that might help you out a little bit if you have any trouble, which I don't think you will. So Will Chamberlain, he, he's always been one of my favorite cards in 2K, usually because of his speed. Um, I really enjoyed, I think it was the diamond card last year. I always started him, I loved playing with him. So it's going to be 7-1, 275 pounds, 90 offense, 91 defense. And he's going to have a driving layup of 75, which is actually really good for a Ruby Center. I mean, come on. Standing layup, 94. Post fade away, hey, post took 95 each. So that's pretty cheesy for a Ruby card. Post control, 88, which is not the best, not the worst. Mid range, mm, not so great in the 50s. He may still hit it, I'm not sure, but it doesn't look too good. Free throw 58, which is pretty bad. I am going to recommend putting a shoe on him for that free throw. Standing dunk of an 85. Driving dunk of a 75. Contact dunk of a 65. Ball control pretty bad. His passing's pretty bad as well. Uh, block, six, block 93, which is really, really good. Shot contest 92. Really good for a 7-1 player. Steal is low. Box out. Offensive, defensive, rebound, 88, 89. That's not bad. I mean, that's not bad for a Ruby card at all. Speed, 68. So still pretty fast. Of course, not as good as his future cards are going to be. But, I mean, for a free card, you can't beat that. Let's see. Vertical, 80, which is really good. That means he is going to snag some rebounds for you with that 80. I feel like with this card, he's actually going to rebound way better than what his stats indicate. I think he's going to play better than how he looks, basically, is what I'm saying. I might use him a few games to try him out, like I said, because I do love Wilt. Strength, 90. Stamina, 90. Pretty good. Hustle, 98. Lateral quickness, really low at a 58. Pass perception, good. Defense consistency. On-ball defense, 75. Low post defense, 88. Reaction time, 95. So this Will Chamberlain comes with five gold badges, up and under specialist, drop stepper, post spin technician, tireless score, pick and roller. Now they do give you four empty slots to add. Obviously you're going to have to add hustle rebounder. I would also consider adding defensive stopper, definitely posterizer. And for the last one I would either do like putback king or lob city finisher. Yeah, you do those, I think it'll be pretty beastly. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the video. Hope you guys like the video. Uh, go ahead and pick him up. I think he's going to be a good card to use. If you do want to see some gameplay with him, please leave a comment below.
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And once again, this is Codeman. You guys have a good day.